you, what is it? You said that you were originally a producer and you were producing with other artists. Did you think like did that influence your sound? Like working with other people or like what what really influenced your sound and how you make your music? No, nah, not really. I kind of I feel like I kinda I was most so influenced like influencing their sound. You know what I'm saying? That's kinda why I got more into like recording more because I was like I was basically teaching people like how to rap, how to record their vocals, how to basically do everything. Cause I've been where I do it. Just, I fell in love with producing more than like rapping. Cause I've been producing since I was like 14, but I've been knew how to rap and write songs, but I just like producing more at first, you know what I'm saying? But my sound really influenced from like, from like, like Future, Kanye, Kid Cudi, Bob Marley, like, and like soul for music. It's like, that's what my parents listen to. Like, a lot of New York rap, like, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm very lyrical, but like, I'm also like melody driven, you know what I'm saying, like, and yeah, so, in terms of like how I write songs, like the stuff I talk about is like, be kind of more lyrical, because that's like the stuff I like, I like, grew up listening to, but as I got to like my teenage years, when I started producing and making beats, I was like, listen to like more Atlanta music. You know what I'm saying? So that would be like what influenced like my sound in terms of like production and like how I write songs and like my song stretches like you know Atlanta music because like, I grew up listening to like fucking like Travis Porter and like Schooly and Future and Young Boop and all like there's a whole phase in Atlanta like the futuristic phase from like 20, 2009 to 2012 like mm. but, like my influence on like my sound. But like the stuff I actually talk about, like it's more like you know lyrical and like kind of kind of deep. You know what I'm saying? Deep stuff, introspective stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Like you said that, and you, I kind of feel like I bring that. I kind of help out bring that out. You know what I produce for. Them. Yeah. Oh, uh, you said that. Are you from Chicago or are you just like currently residing in Chicago? No, I'm from Chicago. I ain't. Again, I'm from Chicago. Like I was born here, raised here. Like, I got family in, like, different states, in, like, St. Louis and Texas and stuff. So I visit that sometimes in the summer. But I'm really from Chicago. Like, yeah. Because, like, I know with, like, Chicago, they have, like, a big music scene out there. Because, like, I, I was first introduced to Chicago music with, like, I guess most people with, like, that Chief Keef, Lil Bibby G Herbo, that Drill era that came out. But then I also listened to, like, the other side of Chicago music where you got, like, Saba, Chance the Rapper, uh, if you go oh, yeah, back okay. further, like, Kanye and stuff. Uh, with music like oh, that, yeah. um, have you, has that influenced your sound? Do you see yourself more on like I guess the okay. drill sound or like that more soulful, melodic and everything, or do you like cross over? I feel like I'm in the middle for real, for real. That is of my background. Like my parents raised me like in a good home. Like I come from good parents, and my parents like then like raised me be like a street nigga, but. That's my, that's like, I grew up in the hood for real, so that's really all that's around me. So, like, I'm like I'm saying, my parents used to listen to, like, soul for music and stuff. So, naturally, like, when I was younger, I used to listen to, like, more soul for rap. But as I started living on my own, like, in my teenage years and on, like, you feel me? In my community, my surroundings, it is all, like, drill shit. But, like, I, I had, like, two sets of friends for real. Like, I, I had friends from my hood. Then I went to, I went to, like, a special school in the city. Like, you got to, like, test in to get there. But it was still in the hood. But it would be, like, kids from, like, all different parts of the city. You feel what I'm saying? So that's how, like, my my music taste and learning about people, like, Chance to Rap and, like, Simon and stuff like that. Like, that's how I learned about them. He, he low-key, like, my senior, no, maybe my junior year in high school, Chance low-key, his first mixtape, he, like, promoted it at my school. Like, he came to my school to, like, you know, promote his mixtapes. He had do that, like, hella much, like, so, like, that's really how I learned about, you know, that whole side of the city. But it was around the same time when, like, Chief Keith was popping. So we, like, 16, 17 years old when all this happened. So I, like, literally, like, seen literally all, like, Chief Keith's little baby mama literally went to my high school. <laughs> His first baby mama went to my high school. I went to school. Like, I went to school with little dirty baby mama, too. But, <laughs> like, <laughs> India, I went to high school. Uh, uh, Yo, I was like, so, like, crazy. I, I, like, like I said, 
I'm like, I'm in the middle of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm in the middle. It's like, but I always, I always beat myself. I just know how to maneuver and like, you know, you circle, but like, you know, I got like, uh, so I know how to like, and it resonates with me, like the drill stuff, like, it resonates with me as much like the self and stuff. So I'm just like in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I always stay myself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like going up to Chicago, you kind of really ain't got no choice, but to kind of like, you can try to make your own life, but in Chicago, you just go outside, bro, you're going to find yourself into something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So even if it ain't what you're really trying to be, like, you kind of got to be it to a certain extent just to protect yourself and your family. And, but, yeah, like, I enjoy all the stuff. Like, I listen to Chance, Saba, uh, who else, bro? Superboy. Uh, There's a lot of artists. John Doe, Kia Got Chopper, Lico, Stone the Pants, and Elgato. Uh, you feel me? Dirt, uh, Boss Top, you feel me? Uh, like, I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot of rap in Chicago. I don't work with a lot of them. Like, I can keep going on, but like, that's one thing people really don't know. That's kind of why I'm trying to, what I want to bring to the city. Like, cause as an engineer and producer, like, I don't work with like so many various type of artists, like from, from the hood to like the north side to the suburbs, like, and everybody got their own like style. You feel what I'm saying? So, I kind of, as a producer, that's when I had to realize, like, I have to kind of put myself in the It's not, yeah, and be able to understand and just, you know, see sides of myself, like, you feel me? Okay, I could relate to them on this. I'm mean, not be able to relate to them. I'm like, I ain't feel me? I never killed nobody. I'm not a killer, but I definitely grew up in the hood and poverty, and I, like, grew up around killers, you feel me? You feel me? I done chopped it out, but I'm not, like, no drill artist, but, you know, I got a soulful side, too, you feel what I'm saying? And then with the suburb, like, okay, I like doing stuff like just going to play basketball and, like, going to, like, the part, like, I understand, like, east side of the, of the spectrum. So I just try to, you know, when I'm, because I produce, too, all sorts of artists. So when I'm working with different artists, you feel me, as I work with myself, like, I just try to get them to understand, like, or just relate to them on whatever level they at, you know what I'm saying? Get comfortable doing that, like, because that, that's one thing I kind of noticed, like, artists kind of feel pressure to kind of, like, go into a box you know, to gain the attention. Like, you know, you really just be with yourself. Like, if you're speaking to, like, your true experiences, you could, that's all you really got to focus on, just speak to your true experiences. And, you know, that's what's really going to get you where you need to get to. So that's what I'm about, you know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, I like that because, like, I know with what I've seen from that Chicago scene, like, from, like, Chicago culture and that drill culture is, like, what. Well, I mostly see coming out of Chicago. So I just hearing somebody from there saying that, yeah, that's the, it's real, but to, to make music and to do stuff in Chicago, you don't have to be about that life to make it out of there. Be be from there. Yeah. So that's where a lot of artists get into music. Oh, it's like, not not to cut you off, but that's why a lot of artists from Chicago kind of get away from this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they be getting into music to like, stay out yeah. of that stuff. Yeah, for sure. 